Which of the following statement relating to the root of the neck is false? The subclavian artery arches over the first rib anterior to the scalenus anterior muscle. The lung projects into the neck beyond the first rib and is constrained by Simpson's fascia. The root and the trunk of brachial plexus lie posterior to the subclavian artery on the first rib. The thyrocervical trunk is a branch of the subclavian artery. Now pause the video and think about the answer. The answer is subclavian artery arches over the first rib anterior to the scalenus anterior muscle. Thoracic outlet. In the thoracic outlet, the subclavian artery and vein and the brachial plexus exit the thorax and enter the arm. They pass over the first rib under the clavicle. The subclavian vein is the most anterior structure and is immediately anterior to the scalenus anterior muscle and its attachment to the first rib. The scalenus anterior has two parts. The subclavian artery leaves the thorax by passing over the first rib and between these two portion of the muscle. At this level of the first rib, the lower cervical nerve root combine to form the three trunks of brachial plexus. The lowest trunk is formed by the union of cervical eight and thoracic worn nerve roots. And this trunk lies directly posterior to the artery and is in contact with the superior surface of the first rib. If you have liked the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel.